All right, hello everyone. It is J School Things here, and uh, today I'm just showing off something I've been working on in Unity, and maybe it can help some of you guys out if you need some help if you're doing something like this in Unity. Now, what I made is a simple level editor in Unity. All right, a grid-based level editor. So if I play it, this is what it does right now. So I got this cursor that moves around the screen on a grid. It's this uh, cursor sprite. When I click, it places them on a grid. Yes, these are Minecraft textures. I'm making a game with a Minecraft skin on it. <laughs> yeah, here it is. I'm still working on it, ironing out lots of bugs. It is nowhere close to finished yet. But I just wanted to show you guys the the basic idea that I'm using, the basic code I'm using to place these blocks like this and make sure they're on the grid and everything. So, let me show you the script right now. Alright, so if we go here to our level editor script, I'm working on this script right now, and, uh, it's, I don't know, it's not too advanced, I'm pretty new to C Sharp, but this is what I, this is what I got right here. So, basically, what I got is the dirt block object, game object, so I serialize that field, so I can put it here. So I got the level editor object, which handles all the level editor type things that the level editor needs to do. I don't know. I, this is unscripted, so this is going to sound bad. But here's the level editor object. It has all these variables. So I put the dirt block in there. I put the cursor in there. And I made these prefabs. So if I go to my prefabs folder, then you can see that I have my cursor as a prefab and my... Uh, Dirt block is a prefab. So if I go here, I I, ins I serialize those two fields and put the dirt block and cursor in there. Don't worry about the ball and paddle right now. That's for something else I'm doing. But yeah, I put the dirt block and cursor in there, and just so the script has access to them. And what I do is okay. So on void start, uh, in my cached references, I create a game object called storage and it, it's basically just the game object that stores all the instantiated block objects inside of it so storage equals game object dot find blocks which is this and when I play you can see that it is in full screen so that's not gonna work you're not gonna be able to see when it's in full screen alright if I play here if I play some blocks around and whatnot you can see that it goes into blocks they all go in here yeah so I got that and then how it's actually working okay um, here we go we have the function so calculate positions uh, right here mouse pause equals input dot mouse position so that's just getting the mouse position on the screen object pause equals camera dot main dot screen to world point mouse position so what that's doing to put it simply is if I just took the mouse position, that's in like pixels pretty much. So it'll be like, like if it's all the way in the corner, it'll be like 100. But since the game units are these blocks right here, these are the game units right here. If I had 100, then from here, it'll be all the way over here. So this basically just makes it easy to convert the pixels to the game units. So camera.main.screen to world point mouse position. So then I have the object pause variable, so it can, that's basically just where the mouse is on the screen in the world units, the arbitrary world units. And then pause equals new vector3, and then, so I'm creating a vector3 value, and the first value, th this is just, uh, this is just to... The, the pause variable is just where the block is going to be placed. So mathf.round to integer object position dot x. So that's this object position. So I get the x value. And then I do the same thing for the y value. And I set z to 1. I did that because what was happening before. So I place this and I change this to 3D. Ooh, 3D. All right, here we go. So what was happening before is these. So if you don't know, Unity, they're 2D engine. 
it's still working in 3D, so these have a Z value. And what was happening before, since I didn't set the Z to 1, it would just be inside of here, and they would be invisible, because they would be inside of this blue thing. So I just put them forward, and so, since it's an uh, isometric camera, it doesn't matter. So let's go back here, so here we are. We got that, so I got the position thing. And then if input, oh, let me explain the change cursor position. So, so that's the calculate positions down here. And then change cursor position, that that's a pretty simple uh, function. Void change cursor position, cursor.transform position equals pause. So pause position, you know. So, yeah, excuse me. Yeah. All right, so pause is just this vector three down here. And it, it basically just changes the cursor sprite's position to wherever the block is going to be placed. And then if input dot get mouse button down zero, which is the left mouse button, game object spawned block. All right, so I'm creating this variable of type game object named spawned block equals instantiate dirt block. So this first parameter is just telling me what I want it to instantiate, and instantiate in Unity just means like clone it. And so here's this is what I want to instantiate. So whatever you want to instantiate, put in the first parameter. Then pause, okay? So that's the position that I want to instantiate it at. And then quit quaternion.identity. Um, quaternion, I don't completely understand that, but it's basically just the rotation. But if you just put dot .identity on it, it just doesn't do anything to it, so I just put that in by default. And then storage.transform, so yeah, this is the rotation right here. Then storage.transform is the game object, or like what I want to put it under. Like what, what game object I want to make it a child of. So yeah, I hope I explained that decently. I know I'm not great at explaining this, but I hope you guys can understand that. I am going to be working on this level editor more, so I will make some more videos on it when I update the level editor, but this is just a very basic alpha stage that it's in right now. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions about it, just ask them down in the comments, and that's going to be about it for this video. I'll see you guys all later, and goodbye.